Hey guys, you're Duke and Dude here. Welcome to another Let's Play. This time, let's check out F Zero. This is an old classic from the 90s. Uh, kind of makes you wonder why hasn't there been any more F Zero games since, like, the last one was made in 2004, and that was only a Japanese exclusive. So I might as well do a Let's Play just to show you guys what this game was all about. Let's see, of course, this was pretty much shown like. Uh, as a, as a tech demo, so to speak, but it was pretty cool. The only drawback is that this game was only like released... Um, it, it was only made for one player. It, di it didn't really have any multiplayer, it didn't have two-player support at the time. The only thing that uh, came close to that was Mario Kart afterwards, but... Anyway, this is pretty much just to show off uh, the, the, the pseudo 3D, the Mode 7 that most people would know about. Anyway, yeah, you can see there are only four, four vehicles to choose from. Everyone knows the Blue Falcon, Captain Falcon. Three different leagues, and of course uh, the class, that's the, the difficulty setting. So, let's start with the first one. Let's go with the standard one. Yeah, after Expert, there's actually Master Class, because that's brutal. Let's go Standard, just for the hell of it. On your mark, get set. Bad habit of mine. Now, compared to other tracks later in this game, this is by far the easiest. One thing that really stands out about, the, about this game is the music. The music is just awesome. Okay, we got enough for a boost. It's always important to uh, go for a pit stop. There goes the turbo. One thing I didn't know in the past when I was uh, a kid playing this game is that if you have to press down, you know, when you're doing those jumps, that's to actually to jump higher. So you're literally putting your nose up, uh, the the nose of the vehicle. I mean. As a kid, I didn't really know, but uh, apparently that was like one of the, like, possibly one, the only way to actually pass like um, one stage. I think it was White Land Two. That's a tricky one. Oops. Sorry, kind of lost control there. Nose up. You notice that if you actually press down at that moment, it's like you, you don't see like a really rough landing for the vehicle. Nose up. See, that was a rough landing. Funny thing, in, in later games, in this game, there's not much of an issue if you have a rough landing, but in later games, that does take damage. Um, usually referring to the Game Boy Advance ports. Fuck, second place. Got distracted there. Big Blue. I forgot to say, the music in Smash Brothers of Big Blue. One of my favorite tracks. God damn it. Now, I made a video, um, a couple of years ago about like why F-Zero just vanished and why they, what Nintendo never really bothered to make a new one. Uh, it's part and part like, part of it like my opinion, the other part is like um, based on facts. 
long story short, you know, the last few, last couple of games just didn't sell very well, and they just discontinued F Zero. And I don't know if the difficulty has anything to do with it, but let's be clear: who doesn't love a challenge? Got to maintain that lead. Maybe I should have played this in expert mode. Then again, that would just kill me. You know, when I was younger, I, I normally pick uh, the Golden Fox, Dr. Stewart. That was like my main in the first game. But since that character has been tweaked considerably, he has very poor handling in later games. So it's usually preferred to either pick uh, Captain Falcon or Samurai Goro for, uh, for these games. Pico, the, the Wild Goose. Yeah, the Wild Goose is just really, really slippery to, to control. Fire Stingray is actually pretty good too. You know, since I was talking about Samurai Goro, so I recommend that one too. Yeah, the hazards in this game usually range from annoying cars that get in the way or some that just explode right in your face. Occasional jumps and other um, other types of hazards that usually appear depending on the tracks. I think I just got an extra life. Nice. Sand ocean. Let's go. Such hairpin turns, man. Out of the way! Ugh. Wild Goose. That thing was on my tail. Oh, now it's being cheap. I meant to do that. I feel really clumsy in this level. Jeez. One false move with your human pinball. Ugh. Well, I'm on his tail. Whoa! Got the lead. Here, pin turn. Mother. Ugh. Yeah. Ooh. Ugh. Took some heavy damage there. Ah, can't risk it, can't risk it. Oof, that was close. Two laps left. Yeah, this was back before they had the five lap rule. Now it's a three lap rule in every in every uh, other game. Gotta be extremely careful. Ah, crud. Crud, crud, crud! Ah, I was too hasty. Is 
See, it's best to leave the turbos uh, for the home stretch. Shit. Oh, this is not good. I've been hit pretty hard. The harder I get hit, the slower I go. Maybe if I can maintain that third place. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh. Some of the levels can get really tricky. You could become a human pinball and not know it. Deathwind. Oh, this one's the trickiest one. Because if you notice, like from this angle that I'm driving, the wind is just pushing me the other direction. And you have to use those zippers, those uh, those little boost areas. They're a risk, but sometimes if you know how to use them, it's rewarding. Crud, that's three for three, come on. Okay, checkpoint. Screw it. Ugh. Come on. Well, it made some progress. When you think about it, f is nothing more than just bumper cars at 900 miles per hour. Yow! Fuck. Ugh. Oh no you don't. Gotta get those boosts. Damn. Final lap. Gotta be careful. Whoa, that was close. Ugh! Ah. Ugh! Ah. Deathwind 2 is even harder than this one. You had to be precise. Silence. I find it funny how this level is shaped like a gun. Don't know why. Unless it's supposed to be referencing a silenced gun or something. Hence the pun, but... Eh. Oh, these turns are just... Ugh. I like to nickname these things the Tetris turns because they're just so fucking blocky. Now you can technically knock these characters, these, uh, these vehicles, out of the race, but they'll still come back regardless. You gotta make really sharp turns in those things. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. 
Okay. Tetris room. Mm. Oh no, you don't. Incoming. Whoa, just went over it. Nope, no. Ah! You really gotta struggle with those turns, man. With crashes like those, who you, you, you'd easily get whiplash. Whew. Sometimes going through these levels is a war in itself. You're just lucky to make it out alive. I mean, it wasn't a perfect score. I'll admit, it's not my best run, but at least I did I did pretty good. Now granted, when I was a kid, I I think the only way I could actually pass this game legit was using a Game Genie. But of course, I kind of outgrew that over the years. Granted, Expert Mode and Master Class Mode is just, oh god, like the most excruciating ones, the most excruciating difficulty levels in this thing. Same goes for F-Zero X. F-Zero X, just beating that in Master Class alone is brutal. And of course, GX, that thing is just freaking impossible. Okay, this is pretty much like the best, uh, best runs. That's just the night league. Let's go for the Queen League. Oh, no, 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 not that one. Not my intention. Dang it. Let's try this again. Queen League, standard mode. Here we go. Mute City 2. Yeah, it's basically the same thing, but it takes place in the afternoon, and there's like this ring in the middle. It's essentially the same track, just for that little difference. So, uh... I'm still hoping, and I've been hoping for years, to see a new F-Zero game on, uh, on a on a current gen console, but Nintendo just stopped caring of uh, stopped caring for F Zero. Instead, they prefer to put Mario Kart in everything. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Mario Kart as much as the next guy, but I want a little variety in my racing games, huh? And speaking of racing games, where's Excite Bike? Where's Wave Race? Where's 1080? They've all disappeared in favor of Mario. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm not dissing Mario Kart whatsoever, I'm just saying give the other IPs a, a chance in the spotlight. Instead, they're just lost in... The, they're lost in the past and they become a product of their time. And no new um, no new gamers will be able to experience it. Especially considering with the um, <clears throat> the, the current events that have, uh, that have occurred recently. Regarding ROM sites being shut down, but... Whatever. Turbo time. Whoa. Sure, 
guy kind of so bad so far. U turn. Not much of a charge. I'm good. I'm good. Also, please remember to support the official release. If you are a game collectionist, I strongly recommend you pick this up. Especially considering this was a launch title, so it makes total sense. It's raining outside. Huh. Poor town. This is actually Captain Falcon's home hometown, if I'm not mistaken. Gotta be careful because there are magnetized parts of the road. Ugh. The slightest error and you lose all your momentum and you have to find a way to earn it back. Whoa! I'm not touching that with a 10-foot pole. Third place. I still got time. Smooth. Focus, focus. Ah. Strong magnets there. Right turn. Move it. First place already. Don't relax. Ugh. Oh no, you don't. Gotcha. That was awesome. So yeah, going back on the whole topic of um, F Zero. Why it was never really picked up. I mean, there were attempts to at least bring up Zero back to the limelight, but uh, last I checked, I think the developers for Burnout 2 were originally going to do like a demo version of, a, of an F Zero game, but things kind of fell through afterwards. I mean, that's disappointing. Whoa! Gotta be careful with those jumps. This is essentially bumper cars at 900 miles per hour, or 900 kilometers per hour. You know, gotta go metric. Ouch. Ah. Okay. Right here. Oh no, 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 no. Not letting anyone pass me. Ah! Funny story. I know this is probably going to be a little off topic, but uh, one time I was actually playing um, Mario Kart 8 
at a friend's house, and of course Mario Kart 8 had, uh, I think, one or maybe two tracks that were based off of F-Zero. And, surprisingly, I was the one that actually did better in the F-Zero tracks than, uh, than my buddy did. Ah, wow, 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 son of a... Recover, gotta recover. Ugh. There we go. There we go. Ow, you son of a No. Ugh. Damn. Does really get in the way. I hate it when that happens. I'm gonna do this all over. Let's try this again. It's always important to master those hard turns. And be careful with those jumps. Damn it! Gotta recover. Ah! Come on. Fourth place. I still got time. Good. That was a rough landing. Okay. Second place. Right turn. There we go. Ow, ow, ow. Jerk. Cut corners. Left and right. Final lap, keep it up, come on. Ah! I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, White Land. Notice how it has a... The track has a shape of a, I guess, a tooth? Unusual, but whatever. Now, and to be more amusing, the, the, second, the second track of White Land <clears throat> Sorry, White Land Two is kind of shaped like a person with a with an open mouth. So maybe someone has a thing for dentistry. Those are tricky. This is ice. Oh! No! Ugh. The cars even bump into you in midair. Ah! 
two, one, go. Down. Come on. <sighs> the obstacles get more and more treacherous as time goes on. You got ramps on one end, you got slippery slippery tracks on the other. Took a little too hard of a left there. Screw it. Making good time. Right turn. Hairpin. I didn't get enough time to charge, but whatever. One more, two more laps remaining. Come on. Up. Up. The Golden Fox is being a little bit of a dick, isn't he? Yes, I know, I'm in third place. Looks like I'm gonna end up in third place. Dang. Yeah. Got an extra life. Didn't expect that. And yeah, to coincide with the tooth of the first one, the second track is shaped like a hum like a like a profile of a, of a person's face. Uh, cut corners here. Cut corners here. Nose up. There we go. Doing good. Doing good. Ugh. So many zigzags in this one. Cut corners. Screw it. Cut corners. Leap of faith. Ugh. It's always best not to drop your guard because you never know what could happen when you're in first place. Because there's always going to be like this this hovercraft that just gets in the way. Like that one that just passed by me. Two laps remaining. Nice. Here we go. Come on. Up. Sharp right. 
Cut corners. Cut corners. Screw it. Leap of faith. Ugh. Final lap. Keep it up. Cut corners here, cut corner here, screw that, screw that, screw you. Leave a faith. Excellent. Finish. Woo! So yeah, the second track, um, actually this one, this league had a few uh, a few tracks that were really difficult. Second one was like a beginner course. This was like intermediate. But as you can see, the the levels do get progressively harder as time goes on. I mean, just playing through this game as standard, like in a in normal difficulty, it it really like just you know gets you really pumped up. Kind of stresses you out a little bit just trying to reach first place. But totally worth it in the end. So, Nintendo, will we ever see F Zero again on the Switch? Because I'd love to see it. Bring back Captain Falcon. Not just on Smash. Okay, one last run. Let's go to the King League. Brace yourself. This one's gonna get rough. This one's gonna get rough. Damn it, Dr. Stewart. Out of the way, Doc! I usually recommend saving the boost for uh, the home stretch, at best. Sharp hairpin turn. I don't have any more boost at this point. Three laps. Always stay fully charged because you never know what could happen. Ah, uh, not a scratch. I'm making really good time. I'm making really good time right now. Whoa! Ah! That's what I get for being distracted. Yow! Touche! Ah! Dang it! Still got a lap. Gotta recover from that. Um, I'm actually thinking of doing a let's play of probably the other F-Zero games. 
like the ones from the Game Boy Advance. Nice. Because there were three on the Game Boy Advance that were actually really good. Um, we had F Zero Climax, F Zero GP Legend, and F Zero Climax. GP Legend and Climax were actually based off of an anime of, of F Zero at the time. Which, to be honest, I really haven't seen much of that anime. I should probably get to uh, find a chance to watch it. Subtitled. I'm not going for the four kids dub. Screw that. Deathwind 2. Oh, God. Oh. Here you have to be precise with those zippers. You either have to be lucky or precise just to land those things. Use the boost. Mm. I heard of grinding, but this is ridiculous. Boost. Neck and neck. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yes. No problem. No problem. Still recovered. Still recovered. Okay. Damn it. I've been zigzagging way too much. Well, I can't help it, the wind is blowing in my... It's like an eastern wind, or it's kind of blowing in that direction. In expert mode, those zippers are mandatory. Ugh. Dang it! Not good, not good, not good. Whew. Nice. Ow! Oh no you don't. Whew. <sighs> that was awesome. That was awesome. Port Town 2. Here we go. Back in Captain Falcon's hometown. Damn it! Got a rough lap. I can recover. That was a rough lap. Let's see. You know, when it comes to F-Zero, I was always thinking, like, if there was a way to revive the franchise again, it would be, like, as a spin-off title. Like, I don't know, making, like, a first-person or, or a third-person adventure with Captain Falcon. You know, if, if we can't really focus on 
expanding upon the constant of F0, which is just racing from point A to A to, to point B, then just make it like an open world game, like the like the other sandbox games you normally see, like Grand Theft Auto or or, or what else, Watch Dogs, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, he is technically a bounty hunter, so why not just have him go from planet to planet, just fulfilling his missions? Ah, too much grinding, too much grinding. Got someone on my tail. Ah, crud. Oh, that hurt me. Come on. Yeah, eeks. It's like they want to crash with you. Why aren't they suicidal? Ow, 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 ow. Oh, it's really hard to turn this way. Zigzag turn. Shit. God, I gotta do this thing again. Dang it. <sighs> Here we go again. Things got a little rough in that last run. Let's try this again. Ah, damn it, I missed the ramp completely. Oh, time to get a breather. We're good here. Memorize the track as well as possible. Kinda makes you wonder why aren't those other why aren't those vehicles playable? Instead they just serve as obstacles and nothing else. corners. Okay. Everyone turn here. All right, right. Turn. Doing good. Second place. Ah. Damn it, dog. Do you always have to hog first place? Well, that was. Uh. I shouldn't have used that boost. Final lap. Here we go.
sometimes you just have to dodge all the other uh, vehicles to make it first uh, to first place. But when you see a car that's literally flashing like that, automatically he just he's about to blow up. Like you you touch him, he blows up. Red Canyon two. Here we go. Red Canyon is no biggie. I was more concerned about uh, Deathwind 1 and 2. Those are the trickier ones. That and Sand Ocean, but uh, what else? Nothing else. Oh, right. This one has that giant um, that arrow jump. If I'm not mistaken. Whoa. Almost forgot about that one. Only if you're feeling bold, you can pull that one off. Let's charge. Ah! Ah! One jump. Two jumps. Three jumps. No! Oh! Why did I turn left? I gotta do that jump again. Here we go. That jump is tricky. The thing is that when I was pressing down, I accidentally pressed left. By that point, I kind of missed the jump entirely. But you can't technically pull it off. You just have to pull up on the right time and use a boost. And that really helps cut uh, cut corners, save time. That is essential. Cutting more corners here. Got someone on my tail. Ready? Now! Woo! There we go! Ah! Ah! I got a little trigger happy. Shouldn't have activated that boost. No, but ma making the jump without the boost, that's suicide. It's too dangerous, it's too risky. <laughs> Alright, making good time. Making good time indeed. Jump one, jump two, jump three, boost! Woo! Yes! Get away from me. I wonder what ever happened to that rumor about uh, a Star Fox racing game. It's like, what? Supposedly they were working on it, but nothing really came up at E3. Kind of makes you wonder. Like, was that even legit at all, or was that just uh, nothing but fan speculation? No! I got too cocky. Damn it. I got too cocky in that one. I'll tone down the jumps, but as you can see, you can't pull them off. I'll only use those jumps every once in a while. I wanted to go three for three, but... 
I got a little hasty. Ow! You only save the jump when it's necessary. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> sharp left, sharp right. Use that boost. Three laps left. I mean, good thing that jump is optional. And the jumps here are very double-edged. It's like you can never tell who's behind you when you're pulling off a crazy jump. Otherwise, someone would just knock you off and you're pretty much sent to your doom. Gotta love the music in this game. Ah! What happened? Experiencing technical difficulties for some reason. Yeah, I'll take it. I'm not going to go through that again. That was getting a little rough. Okay, Firefield. Here we go. Left, right, left, right, left. U turn. There we go. Left. U turn. Hmm. Freaking U turns. I don't remember much about this one, all the, aside from all the zigzags. But this is essentially like sand ocean. Ow, 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 ow. Hmm. Over here, it's best to charge. There we go. You know what? Screw it. I'll just go over here in this on the right side. There we go. Nice. Second place. Got someone on my tail. Ah! Samurai Goro in the flesh. Close. 
Uh, no, no, don't slow down. Oh, uh, when you get the rough terrain, you literally slow down right there. I'd be lucky if I reach first, because damn. Tricky. This level is really tricky, so you gotta be careful. No! No! Like I said, this level is tricky. I'd best reach third. Come on. Oh, shoot. Screw you. I'll take it. Damn, that was rough. May not have been first place, but yeesh. Even in even in standard mode, this thing has a challenge. Just goes to show you. Now playing expert mode, man, that's gonna be brutal. Expert and master class. Uh, well, granted, I am I am probably a little rusty. So yeah, that's F Zero for you. Still a classic. Uh, I'm at least glad they uh, brought it back for the classic SNES. Though really, for the fans, um, for the fans of, of this series, you really got to check out the other games too. Uh, Climax, uh, GP, GP Legend, X, and GX. Still amazing titles, and they do hold up. Whew. Tell you what, though, I mean, those last few levels were pretty treacherous. But yeah, that's Sub Zero for you. It's always about difficulty. Well, I guess that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe I'll uh, do another Let's Play, another video. We'll see what happens. There's always going to be a, a Let's Play at some point about something. I wanted to try this because this was actually a request. Uh, maybe I'll uh, try another F Zero game in the future. I am considering uh, doing more fighting game videos. Now, of course, I'm no expert. I'm just an old. I, I guess you could say an old casual folk. I've been uh, practicing a lot more uh, King of Fighters and a bit of Street Fighter Three, but you'll you'll get to see those eventually. But yeah. Um, in the meantime, thanks for. Um, Thanks for watching this Let's Play. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. And uh, I'll be back with uh, another video. And of course other content along the way. Yes, there will be more animations later on. So uh, thanks for watching and take care. Bye.